Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Tuesday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord God. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said to them in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man, and the field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. And uh, the harvest is at the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all, those, all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will be thrown into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may remember that uh, a few days ago, we had the parable of the weeds. And uh, the parable of the weeds is where we heard about the uh, weeds being sown among the wheat. And I talked about the fact that uh, back in those days, they had what was called a darnel weed, which is a weed that looked a lot like wheat. And you really couldn't tell until later on which was which. And so you didn't want to uh, pull it out too early because you might be pulling the true wheat with the weeds. Well, here in our passage today, Jesus interprets this particular parable uh, for his disciples. He had told the parable in public and now in private. He talks to them about what this is actually meaning. And it, it's about, again, the good seed being the children of the kingdom of God, those who have expressed faith and are living out their faith in God, their faith in Christ. And the weeds are the children of the evil one. They are the children of the devil. They disregard God. They disregard the things of God. And yet here they are in the same place, growing uh, the same, uh, in the same way. They're, they're growing older and uh, time is going on. And uh, they've been placed there by the enemy. I mean, it's very clear. And, and so we see that even within the church, we have those who are weeds and those who are wheat. And uh, we can't tell who is who. Um, that's left up to God. And there is a harvest at the end of the age. Now, this harvest at the end of the age, at the end of the age could be for us at the uh, ending of our time here on earth. And at that point, we enter into a time where we will, uh, you know, be prepared for judgment. Uh, for those who are present at the very end of the age, when all is, is finished in God here in our current world, um, then they will be completely collected. And uh, then there will be the judgment. There will be a time where we will be uh, judged as to whether we are following after the one of uh, following after the Lord or whether we are not. And that there is an eternal destiny for both groups that are different. We have the group uh, that have faith in, in God and are living as children of the kingdom of heaven are entering into eternal life with him. Others are being placed in what is described here as a fiery furnace. Basically, it's, it's eternal uh, damnation and it's eternal uh, punishment and being apart from God, separated from God. And so Jesus is making it very clear that there is two different destinations at the end of our time here on earth. And our goal, our desire should be to be ready and uh, eager and connected to the kingdom of heaven through our faith in Christ and our participation in that faith and in the church and in the sacraments and keeping ourselves fully invested in following after him by faith, that we will have that hope and that confidence of eternal life. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as always, it's good to be with you. 
And again, the Lord willing, we will be together tomorrow for another edition of Day by Day. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.